the end of the day, I'm not having some trade of f***ing sell fake watches to anyone. The cu customer doesn't deserve that. You've now got to tell the customer the reason you're returning it. It's because it's a fake watch. Mate, I'm not accusing you of anything. I'm just telling you that the watch is fake. I'm telling you now, the watch is fake that's been sent to me by the client. <laughs> Sunday guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to show you the behind the scenes of the boutique party as we welcome back some previous clients who come have a little glass of bubbly with us, some snacks and also buy some more watches. Let's just say Lee and Bobby are still fuming with the situation that they have to deal with in today's video. So make sure you stay tuned all the way to the end to check that out. It's interesting to say the least. The next time you'll see me, I will be helping a client find his dream watch under his budget. But before we jump into that, please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, really appreciate it. And yeah, let's head into me dealing with a client and finding him his dream watch. So we've got a client coming in in the next five minutes actually. Um, He's a client that I've been speaking to on Instagram back and forward for a couple of days now. Um, and what he's been saying is he's had a budget of £12,000. He's not too sure what Rolex he wants to buy, just knows he wants to buy a Rolex. So we've got a wide variety of different watches here for him to come and have a look at in the boutique. We've got a little bit of everything for him to see what he likes, see what he wants to go for. So the so first two watches I'll show you that I've got here are the 36 mils. We have Black Diamond Dot 2015. This watch is available for £9,000. This is sort of the lower end of his budget where he wants to be. The second watch I've got for you here is the Blue Datejust 36mm. This one, again, is a 2020 watch and it's for £10,000. So that is just below where he wants to be on his budget. Now, I've not actually met this gentleman. So as I was saying earlier, he may want a bigger watch. He may want something a bit smaller. That's why we're giving him a bit of variety. Sticking with the smaller watches, we have the Yachtmaster 37mm and this one is available for £10,000. If he wants something a little bit bigger and he wants something that's going to stick around for a while, it's never going to get you know, unpopular, it's always going to be a popular watch, it's always going to be a timeless piece, you have here Black Subdate, which is 2020 and this is at the top end of his budget at 11750 But in terms of a watch that you can wear with anything, in terms of a watch that will never go out of date, it'll always remain a popular watch and always be an easy one to sell. That is up there. Some people love them, some people hate them. The Milgaus, on the fence with my thoughts on this watch. And this is available for 11000 We've got the Champagne Dial Datejust with the Jubilee bracelet. This, some people will love, some people will hate. I quite like it. It's £12,000. Again, this is right at the top of his budget. This is the kind of watch, in my opinion, where you either love it or you hate it. He'll either walk in, fall in love with it straight away and go, I want that one, or he'll just be like, I don't want it. A classic, you got the Wimbledon. This is available for 10,500. And lastly, but not least, we have the Silver Dial Datejust, which is available for 9,500, this one. Adding a grand on, 9,500. He's got a wide variety of watches. Let's see which one he picks. I uh, will tell you in only a couple of minutes. Now he should be here any minute, so I'll let you know shortly. for you there John. did you get it i got it mate yeah it's a bit uh what was it <laughs> he's handed it me naked so just so you know when i said he handed it to me naked he didn't hand it to me with his <laughs> out what i mean by naked is he gave us the watch and the watch only no box no card no paper nothing watch is here let's get back to it 
That's okay. It needs a good uh, bit of TLC, I'd say. Okay. He um, wants to know. What is it? Let me see. What, what? A star button. Oh, nice. It's nice, yeah, Johnny. Decent. It's nice. Uh, what we... What he he wants, wants to know. Or? The value of it before he has it made good, if that's going to affect it, and then the value after he's had it made good. Is he selling it? Does he want to sell it? I think he's up for it, yeah. He said, you know, I've had it for a couple of months now. I'm enjoying it, but he said he's going away in a couple of weeks what to uh, Dubai. What year? 21. I'm okay. pretty certain he said 21. Let me see. It's not, it's not totally battered. He's got some dents in it, though. Might need lasering, to be honest. He didn't give me any paperwork or anything with it. He just literally gave me like that. Mm, it might need lasering. It's not that bad. Um, it's probably about 250 for the work, though. Maybe 200, but it's not a cheap polish. That's not a quick one. What did you say? Did you just have your message him later? Yeah, he said it doesn't matter what it costs. He said it needs to be made. Try and buy it off him. Way. If you can buy it off him, I don't know, probably 13 5 13, 13 2 50 would be nice. 13 even. Um, Stars at 13, yeah. See if he bites. Yeah, because you've got to spend 250 on it. You probably get retail probably 14 to 50, 14 5 top. Okay. Also, see if there's any extra links because that looks short. Um, Find out if he's got a box and all that stuff. Passed me over some of the predictions for this year. Just asking, was asking me. I missed you and um, you and Kieran done a video, didn't you? My new updated. Well, <sighs> I've just changed my mind every day, mate. So um, I think with the I seen the Explorer ones you had on the video. I think the most likely are of them. I don't think they'll do a full gold Explorer. I don't I don't think that'll happen. With them bringing out the bi metal, the bi metal one last year, I don't think they'll go full gold this year. Likely they could bring out a white dial in either the steel or the bi metal. Possible, maybe. I'd probably say seven out of ten chance. Daytona new releases. I, I think unless we get a lot of discontinuations in that range, I don't think we're going to see anything new this year. Maybe an update on. On the, on the movements, we've heard a lot of people saying that, so I think that is the most likely outcome that we'll get a, a movement update on the Daytona. Platinum probably could be discontinued, a few people have been saying that too. And the other one I noted was the, the I seen you've done the sprites, but with the, the movement, the correct, like, well, well, I'll say the correct way around, don't think that'll happen. I think most likely the sprites will get discontinued and that'll just be a short run on that watch. I have predicted that they would bring out like a coke version of that, but as time goes on, I'm less less inclined to believe that. Other than that, yeah, that's that, that's probably what I'd go for. I think we'll see a, quite a few discontinued on the day owners, possible explorer, possibly one or two new subs. Um, but other than that, who knows? Anyone's guesses? I'd l put your guesses in the comments. That, that's what we want to see. So it's yet yeah, 27th of March that's coming out. So yeah. Looking forward to it, see what new, what's new, what's upcoming, and hopefully we're the first in the UK to get them. So. Six two four O O R, open case back 50th anniversary. It's a new 22 release, and I think that's the third or fourth one I've sold this year. Been great. <laughs> Hi Chris, how are we doing?
piece is 2020. So I'll do you a better deal today than ever, but I, there's only so much room I've got on all these Oh, watches. no, that's fine. No, I appreciate but, that. I think for me, it's more, yeah. more choosing the right rum rather yeah. than the... Yeah, totally. Look, both listen from a, from a from a financial perspective and in terms of investment perspective, they're both these are hot property in terms of steel. You know, steel sub 15k watches they sell straight away. They're both very similar in colour and style, um, but definitely personal definitely personal preference. Exactly, definitely personal preference. Dan, I think you, your eyes lit up when you put that one on. That's all I'm going to say. I just think that's a really nice Isn't it? Watch, yeah, that, yeah. I like, I like the, I like the, 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 the that's subs, but black subs people have got. No, that, 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 that wins hands down. Yeah. yeah that, the papers are here. They're in the safe. Yeah. They are here. You can take everything with you today. Yes. Including a smile. Yes. Good. Good shout. I like it. It's sold. You can't have it. So yeah. <laughs> what do you think's going in? Yeah. My personal opinion, Sprite. Mm, I think that's Sprite's going. I think if you can, nick it, you know, see how many are going in groups at the moment for twenty grand. But you know what? I think if they, if it, if it goes, if it goes, it's twenty three, twenty four grand, isn't it? Yeah. Mock up of a yellow, a full yellow gold sub, but with a green dial and green bezel, so like a gold Hulk. Oh, that'd be amazing, that. I mean, imagine that. That'll be like a 70, 80 gram watch straight away. Yeah, exactly. So, with a bit of luck, something like that would be nice. Something that really gets people talking about Rolex again. What I'm expecting here, Johnny Lad, is more consignment pieces, which, as I've said numerous times now, the way forward for us as a business. Uh, so, I'm expecting that's white gold, Daytona blue dial. What I have experienced now with consignment is, as well and good as it is just to take more and more and more consignment, we've still got to be mindful to sell all our own stock as well. Right, so it's white sky door. Right, so this one should be my, should be my Patek 5711 assignment piece, which I've been waiting on for a while actually. So a Patek box is a good start. That's a good sign. <clears throat> now, I've already got this pre-sold. So Patek, in my opinion, make the best boxes in the watch game. Rolex. So far behind. It's about time. Everyone talks about the discontinuations of what's coming next. New boxes should be next. 5711. Okay, 5711 blue. So this is a Patek Elite 5711, which as I've said, is on, has been sent to us some consignment. But I'm a bit worried by the fact. What's up? Really? I don't think it's real. That's it. What, and you've just been sent that? The dial doesn't look big enough. The bezel no looks No chance. Off. Well off. Look at the case back on it. 100%. Who's the client? Um, it's a good job you've got that recorded, actually, because Adele normally records them all. You haven't recorded it, but Johnny's recording it, so you've got it on camera. It's absolute the bullshit. The case back's terrible. Isn't it? The blue's off on that dial. I don't even get in close on this, Johnny. But oh yeah, I know who sold it to him. Trade the details of them. It's got a receipt in it. I'd ring that <laughs> trader, Bobby. I mean, you can be your own judges on that, like, but the logs are way off. The depth on the case back, way off. The dial, the proportions are just too small. The bezel's off. It's the wrong colour blue. I mean, you don't get that in a Patek Philippe normally. All right, well, that's going to be an awkward conversation. Um, I know, I know. Right, so we've got two problems here now. So 
we've got a t I've got to tell a client that he's just sent me a fake watch which he's paid 120 grand for. There's no way he's paid the hundred look at I'll look at the look at the receipt. He's he's not paid 120 grand. I've it's got it pre-sold. Oh you've sold it, yeah. Well that's yeah. No no he bought it from someone, hasn't he? I've got it pre-sold now. This is the lad I met at Old Trafford. The papers look real. That's what I said, yeah. The box is real. Mm hmm This is real. This is not real. Get the client on the phone. Well, who's he going to fool? Surely you know it's going to come in, it's going to get... I mean, I don't even need to sell that to the watchmaker. It just feels plasticky. It's got no weight to it. The movement's poor, look at it. Absolute piece of shit. And he thinks that's real. So he's either trying to have you off, or he's been had off. <sighs> Photograph everything up. Get the client on the phone, find out from the client. Just let him know. Well, either that or just ring the trader first and see if the trader knows what he sold them. See, see what date's on the receipt. See if the... Tra I'll ring the f***ing trader if I have to. I know who that is. And if he's taking the piss... I'd call the trader, not on the bounce of the trader. I'd call the trader to ask him what he sold him. And make sure this guy's not got his hands on a receipt from something Got else. the model and serial number there. You can see it won't match the paperwork. Have a look, see if it matches. And then ring the trader and find out. Because he'll have a record of it, he'll have a record of who he bought it off. Find out if it's the client. But either way, you're now because you've sold that watch as well to your customer. So you're not going to need to find another 5711. I'd like to try to go to the client with a solution rather than the problem first. On the base of the client, which will me off. That's who it is. So I'll just call him and I'll find out. It's not like he's a small time dealer. No, but it's not the point, is it? He... If the client's been sold a fake one, I'd rather go to the client and say, oh, I can. We're going to try and rectify it for you. Firstly, I'd want to find out here whether or not it's the client or the trader. The fact that the card's in it from a trader means that he's either the client's either switched the watch and he's pulling the move on you, or the trader sold him the watch like that as is. I think it's more likely the client switched the watch and is trying to move on you. I'll call the trader. You want to deal with the client? That lad that came in, he said, "Is it? Have you ever?" Hi, hi, it's Lee. How are you doing? Yeah, good. So I've just had a, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, appreciate it. <laughs> it's not bad, is it? Look, yeah, so I was trying to call you about something that I wanted to <coughs> quickly bring to your attention. So we've just had a client, uh, I don't have the details of the client, unfortunately, not at the moment, but we've just had a client who's, he's just sent us a watch, uh, Patek 5711. Now in this box is a card from you, as in your business, your business, uh, business card. Sorry, I'm just in shock, mate, to be honest with you. Basically, it's a 5711. I don't know if you remember the sale. I think it was around when? June? September. September 22. So it wasn't that long ago, probably about six months ago. It's a 5711 blue dial. Lads in Manchester. Yeah, the guy's in Manchester. See if you've got any pictures of the watch. Basically, the client sent us a fake blue 5711. So yeah, it, well, uh, yeah. I'm not saying it's anything to do with you, I'm not saying anything, I'm just saying that at the moment, I'm saying at the moment, the watch that we've received is fake. There's 100%, I don't need a watchmaker to open it, I can tell it's fake. I mean, I'm quite happy to send you f***ing pictures and everything else, mate, but, mate, I'm not accusing you of anything. I'm just telling you that the watch is fake. I'm telling you now, the watch is fake that's been sent to me by the client, and all I'm telling you is to have a look through your records, see if you can find pictures or videos of the watch and the papers that you've got. The papers that we've got here in our office, if you let me finish, the papers that we've got in our... Lee, you're trying to do me a favour. I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to... <laughs> very defensive. Yeah, you're being very defensive. I'll send you a WhatsApp. Yeah. <laughs> He's f***ing, he's done something. Very defensive. Very defensive, that, wasn't it? He's done something. He, kn he, he, knew, he knew straight away what that call was coming. <sighs> Why do we inherit this problem? So, you speak, I'm going to speak to him tonight when he's calmed down. No doubt he's going to be ringing me in a minute anyway. I'm going to find out from him if he can prove an evidence that he actually did or did not sell that watch. Then when we know what the information is, then we'll go from there and then we'll decide.
But at the end of the day, I'm not having some trade of fucking sell fake watches to anyone. The cu customer doesn't deserve that. You've now got to tell the customer the reason you return it is because it's a fake watch. Thankfully, we got it on video, you opening the watch, so you've got every proof under the sun that you've not changed the watch. It is what it is. Now you've got to tell your customer that, and I've got to find out whether that trader did or did not do what he said he was going to do, which is sell the client a genuine watch or sell him a fake. And I think based on his reaction, he's the fucking at it, not the client. So now the client's in a position where the client doesn't even know that he's got a fake watch and don't know what he's paid for it. 70, 80, 60,000, who knows? People like that shouldn't f***ing be allowed to sell watches. All right, well, second problem. Have a look in the group for me because I need another 5711 blue. <laughs> yeah, that's not a bad problem. It's a situation that you just don't need. It's awful out there from, from that trader, if you ask me. Anyway, I've also got to go. That's another problem to deal with tomorrow, really, isn't it? I don't think I need to put this one in the bolts now, do I? <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, actually, probably yes, for the simple reason is that it's still technically a client's watch, so you still need to protect it. And the client still thinks it's worth it. Exactly, so you probably do need to put it in the vault, yeah. So that'll be uh, one for the storage locker. And your boys, girls, followers, the trials and tribulations of a watch dealer. Stay tuned for more.